Hey, Tuesday the 22nd of September today. It's 1.20 in the afternoon and I just woke up a little while ago, like at 12 or something. I sat on my phone for a while. But then I got up and decided, hey, I'm just going to clean my windowsill because that's been on my list for ages. And if I just do that one little task, then I can cross that off the list and it won't be there anymore. So I quickly like did that. I cleaned along the windowsill and then I was like, you know what? I just cleaned the windowsill. May as well clean the bottom windows because the cats make them really dirty. So I did that. <laughs> Couldn't clean the outside because it's a wet rainy day and everything. And then I was like, actually, there's a lot of dirty marks along the uh, like the baseboard underneath the window. And I cleaned that too. So what a great day. What a great way to start off the day. Like, I didn't even notice how that was like affecting me, seeing how gross it was every time I opened up my curtains. And now it's not gross anymore. <laughs> Okay, yesterday I put some lemon juice on these corners as well, but uh, I don't, I don't know. I think I'm going to tape it up once more, which is probably a waste of time, um, and then apply maybe some vinegar, and and see how that goes. I really love that black tape. Now, I just don't want it to be pulled off straight away. So, because I've got some things to do, I think I have to take this out of the room. While well, I'm going to be out of the room just for the time being. Having those dis holes on display really bugs me. Like I walk in, I'm like, there's no pride in your place because everything's broken. <sighs> you know, it's just horrible. Um, whereas the black tape just makes it like pretty invisible. Unless, of course, you're looking for it. But learning from last time, not just going to be like, yep, it's done. Awesome. Wonderful. Um, and then leave her with it and come back to it, all my work undone. <gasps> I think I found something she doesn't like. You don't like the vinegar. You had two little licks of that and you went, nah, I'm out. Yes. I just put a whole bunch over this seat and it might wreck the seat maybe, but it also might be a good teaching aid and I'd rather wreck the one that's already wrecked than leave it till I get a new one. And she just had two licks. I was like, oh great. So she's actually going to like the thing that they say is something they don't like. And then she like shook her head and went over the, and, and rolled and stuff. So, woo, yeah, you didn't like it much, did you? That's right, there's plenty of things that you do like, and this way you just learn to leave that alone, right? Hopefully. Zoe, please don't dig there. Oh, and you're not coming in like that, no. Oh, look at you. It was raining, Mum, so the hole that I dug there is filled with water and it's fun to play in. That's fine, but you have to stay outside now. Not having all that into my house. Yeah. You got Anna out there with you, so it's not like you've been completely excluded on your own. Go on. I'll let you in a bit later once you're not absolutely soaking with muddy water. I just got delivery of a couple of parcels. So I believe this one is my external mic, my Boya BYMM1. And then I'm pretty sure that this one is uh, my top that I ordered from Rockman's. For some reason, they're sending the parcel in a lot of packages. So I think this one's this white lace top. So I'm going to open and have a look at it. Seriously, why does this always happen to me? I've got someone else's order. This fleece purple jacket is not mine. Let's put the wrong address label on it. <laughs> People can't get the deliveries right nowadays. Okay, on to the microphone. Let's see whether this is what I ordered. Oh, wow, actually a product that I ordered. Amazing. Okay. Let's see if this works. 
so far pretty happy this is actually quite foamy not just uh the the fur around the outside there is foam inside this so it's squishy mics in here obviously they've given me two cables i've got a trs cable and a trrs cable this one is for smartphones so this is the one i'll be using just to test it out now they've also given me a little uh, carry bag and two mounts so these aren't very shockproof they're um very hard plastic but you know it's something it'll attach onto a little uh, hot shoe so let's connect it okay i got the notification saying recording through headset so i don't have this on a, a tripod or in a hot shoe or anything so i'm just holding it at the moment but how is that sound i'll now do a test without this again and here's a test with the inbuilt mic of the samsung s9 the front facing camera same distance away from me as it was just before well just listening off my phone then the sound from my phone is probably all around nicer but then i think the uh the mic did sort of focus in on my voice a bit more and i have like if i went outside at the moment which is actually a good test because it's really windy um i think you notice a big difference between uh the two of them so maybe i'll do that so disappointed in the top i was gonna try it on and and this is not mine i don't even know it yeah it's a size 12. um it's completely the wrong order okay so it's a bit windy out here this is through the samsung s9 audio so hopefully that's a good enough demo there and now here is the audio through the boyer by mm1 and hopefully this will give you a bit of an idea i'd imagine this sounds clearer but not entirely sure so how is that it's Kind of windy at the moment Let's see if another gust comes through there we go so now i'll talk while the gust is coming through and that was the boya by mm1 so definitely the samsung s9 has better audio than this little microphone uh, but i did get this so that i could have better audio than the dji osmo action which has terrible audio and now I guess I'll see what it's like uh, against the GoPro Hero 9 sound. And maybe I just pull this out in windy situations. I don't know. I'm not completely disappointed, though. Um, and there's still, like, processing you can do with sound to make it a bit more desirable, I guess. There we go. Now, what does the rest of my day hold? Well, uh, actually a bit of a change, right? So... The Fosters are going to uh, stay with my mum for at least the next, say, three, four days, uh, just so she can try and make up her mind about <laughs> what's happening with them. Um, and we'll see where we go from there. And it gives me an opportunity to get them out that room and really deep clean the room again now that they're through the ringworm. Uh, so the sooner I get them out of there and the sooner I can do that deep clean um, will be better. So I'm going to take them down there tonight and well today and I'm going to take Zoe with me because I can't go anywhere without Zoe um, pretty much and I don't know whether we'll stay the night there. I'm thinking currently I, I feel like it might be a bit more work than I'm prepared to do uh, but I'll leave the option open in case I want to. So, um, actually something happened last night. I was, uh, opening up the door to the foster room to turn off the light and go to bed. And, um, my cats, Anna and Abby were outside the door and Boots came to the door on the other side as I opened it. And Boots and Anna had like a really nice sniff of each other. Just no hissing, no growling or whatever. Just like, Hey, who are you? Who are you? I don't know. Um, and yeah, and then this morning when I went to go in there and give the fosters their breakfast, Boots tried to wander out into the hallway. I had to grab her and, and bring her back in. So she's really at that stage of like, yeah, I want to explore uh, the rest of the environment now. And I want to meet all these other cats that I've been smelling for months now. <laughs> but I have four cats, so yeah. Anyway, taking them to mums and we'll see how that goes. One other little test through this little lav mic that I got off of Wish 
for like five dollars ages back so it's still just as windy out here um, but the lab mic I felt I've used in windy situations in the past and it's picked up my voice and reduced the wind noise quite well um, so I'm very interested to see what it sounds like against that Boya MM1 and then again against my smartphone and once again back to the Samsung S9 phone inbuilt mic. Uh, I do think you get a lot more of the high range with this microphone but you also do get um, a lot of wind noise. Swapped back over to my little lab mic because I imagine you didn't hear all that much of that very clearly. It's probably not very nice to listen to. Uh, but yeah, there you go. A little bit more testing done there. And now just a little test of this lab mic indoors as well with none of that wind. So hopefully it's given you a little bit of a comparison, a little bit of an idea of what these ones sound like. I'm trying to listen back a little bit and I don't know what I prefer. Like listening to this little microphone, I'm like, actually, you know, it is pretty directed in on my voice. Um, and if you add just a little bit more high tones in there, then it might sound just like really good. I'm interested to get to my computer and do a little bit of messing with the sound from it and see if I can get something that I feel sounds like top notch. Plus also just listening to it on headphones rather than through the phone speakers so I can properly hear the differences. I kind of wish I could do a test where I spoke all at the same time but right now I've only got this phone I might be able to if I get enough devices I could plug into let me give it a go right at the moment we have a plane going overhead so I guess this would be a good test to see how much this microphone picks up on my voice over the background noises it is getting pretty loud now so I imagine it would be quite difficult um, to hear me regardless of what microphone it's coming through um, so yeah, this is testing with an aeroplane. Going above my head at the moment and we've got wind. Definitely getting a very good test here. There is that aeroplane up there. Okay. Right, so we're outdoors now. We have the Samsung S9 sound. We have the little lav mic from Wish sound and we have the Boya BYMM1 sound all coming through. So hopefully this gives an idea of what the differences are between these microphones. Um, I am interested to hear them once I get back to my computer and uh, see which one I prefer. Uh, or whether there's some tweaking to make um, the new microphone exactly how I like it or what I think, you know. Here's just some, like, without me talking sound. Okay, let's go back inside and review this footage. Oh, my fringe is too long. I need to cut it. It's in my face. I hate it like that. Oh, do you know what? This is actually my uh, Samsung Tab A. And the camera, the front-facing camera doesn't look too bad on review. I'm surprised I never thought to use this guy, but that's a pretty good front-facing camera. I'm, I'm shocked. I need to sort this fringe. I know I just said it, but it, look, it's, yeah, I've got to do it now. I hate when I overdo it and then they're like halfway up my forehead. Is that good enough? Yes. Perfect. Doesn't need to be fancy. Just needs to be practical. <sighs> Almost time to head off to mum's. Yeah, it looks so like detailed actually. I'm really interested to like find out what the specs on this camera are because when I bought this I didn't buy it for a camera I bought it to be my sheet music tablet the fact that it has a camera at all is just a bonus
Over here, I have the Samsung Tab A's 5 megapixel front facing camera in full high definition 1080p. Over here, I have the Samsung S9's 8 megapixel camera in full high definition 1080p. So I think the colors and everything look a lot more natural on the Tab A. Uh, I think you might be able to see a bit more like details on the uh, Samsung S9, but I also feel like the skin tone over on the Tab A just looks more true to life. So I, I'm quite interested because I actually really don't mind the Tab A's camera. Um, now, just onto something else. I just got a response from uh, Rockman's where I ordered my top from. I gave them a call just before, said, you've sent me the wrong order. And they basically looked into it and they've just gone, you know what? just give you a refund. Uh, we're not going to give you your item. And uh, yeah, you can return that other item to us. I'm like, I still want my item. <laughs> so basically we've got, thank you for contacting. Sorry to hear you've received an incorrect order. If possible, please return the order to any of our nearest stores or alternatively, we can return the item to our returns warehouse free of charge by using the return label attached on this email. We've tried to locate the item of mine, but it may have been sent to a different customer. Likely the customer that I got her order, you know, probably her is, is who got my top. Anyway, thus we are unable to request it to be sent to you directly, nor send it again once it's returned. Why? Why can't you send it to me once it's returned? We are very sorry about this. We've also checked about Miller's long sleeve core fleece jacket, which was the item that hadn't been sent out of my order and with 10 days post order now. Uh, and our warehouse confirmed that it was no longer available for us to send to you. Why did you let me buy it then? I wouldn't have bought the pants if they didn't match the, the jacket, but yeah. In these cases, I refunded you for the missing items on your order and sent a refund invoice to your email address, including the amount of the refund. If any of these items become available on our site, and you still want to order them, but are now at a higher price, we will be happy to price match. Just send us your new order number and we'll refund the difference between the item's price in your new order and in your original order. As an apology from us, please find below a free shipping voucher you can use for your next online purchase so you can once again get such great service and have your order shipped to someone else. Anyway, so that's what's happened. What are you doing? Excuse me? The cats seem to be doing all right. Zoe is also doing pretty good. She was just out in the yard for a while and she was quiet. Just sat out there and all good. It's really nice.